ஸோ நிறைய பேர்த்துக்கு நீங்கள் ஒரு இன்ஸ்பிரேஷனாக இருக்க போகிறீங்க பிகாஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அட்டெம்ப்டில் சர்வீஸ் வாங்குறது அதுவும் ஆல் இண்டியா ரேங்க் ஒன் செவன்ட்டி ஃபைவ் வாங்குறதுங்கிறது இட்ஸ் அ பிக் அச்சீவ்மெண்ட் அண்ட் ஈரோட்லேருந்து வந்திருக்கீங்க ஹவு டு யூ ஃபீல் அபவுட் திஸ் மொமெண்ட்டுங்க இட்ஸ் வெரி எக்ஸ்டாட்டிக் இட் ஃபீல்ஸ் வெரி சர்ரியல் ஃபார் அ லாட் ஆஃப் ரீசன்ஸ் பிகாஸ் யூபிஎஸ்சி ஹப்னா டெல்லி தான் சொல்லுவாங்க இல்லை அட்லீஸ்ட் சென்னையாச்சும் போகணும் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு மைண்ட் செட் கண்டிப்பாக இருக்கும் பட் ஐ ஸ்டடிட் ஃப்ரம் ஈரோட் பட் பட் ஆன்லைன் கோச்சிங்ஸ் வேற பூன் ஃபார் மீ ஸோ தேட் வாஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் தேர் பட் அந்த சர்க்கிள் இல்லாமல் ஐ டிட் கிளியர் இட் ஸோ தேட் வாஸ் கிரேட் திங் பட் டியூரிங் இன்டர்வியூ ஸ்டேஜ் லைக் ஆஃப்டர் ஃபிலிம்ஸ் அண்ட் மெயின்ஸ் தேட் இஸ் வென் ஐ காட் த ஹோல் சர்க்கிள் Uh, in one way i was protected from the competition uh, and the fear of competition fomo and all of that i was protected from that so i think that was one major advantage of staying from home staying from erod and studying uh, but there are disadvantages but i think online coachings can breach that uh, mm. for you yes, so what was your preparation strategy in the prelims and mains when you were prepared how did you prepare the preparation for me was largely integrated uh, both prelims and mains i started Uh, from second year but it was not full fledged from second year uh, there was a little bit of studying uh, collecting resources uh, watching topper talks uh, which was very helpful in making a strategy making a plan of what i'll do uh, henceforth uh, and i started studying slowly developing an interest towards uh, the subjects towards the uh, curriculum of upsc itself the sy- syllabus the sy- process as a whole so that was one uh, key thing that i did during my second year and during third year i started studying the basic books the standard books and when after i graduated in 2022 i started with my full fledged preparation uh, i attended online coachings and that was very help the base i had from third and second and third year was helpful during my uh, preparation after my graduation in 2022 so ellathukume first time mains approach pandradengiradhu or epovume or fear vandha kandipa mains vandha descriptive la eludha modha abdinga modha romba kashtama irukum so ungaloda first attempt la mains ku eppadi neenga vandha practice panninga so my mains prep was uh, i think it was a culmination of lot of efforts uh, since my graduation we had been writing in subjective format so for me that was itself a advantage uh, but it's not like you can't do without it you can definitely do without it but it was an added advantage for me uh, and my professors during my college itself they tried to perfect my presentation in a little way so that was helpful and then as soon as i started my full fledged preparation after my graduation uh, in 2022 i started writing one full length test monthly like uh, the first full length test i wrote was geography and whenever i got the feedback i used to refine it and try to implement it in the second test that i'm writing in the next month so by the time it was december i think i was able to finish the portions of mains uh, be it I, i was mostly focusing on gs because i had an optional that was a little favorable for me uh, because it was my graduation as well so i focused on uh, gs from uh, the moment i started uh, pr- preparation so starting lerndu i went for geography history and all of that so i attended one test every month so that was helpful thick paper eppadi approach panninga ellarume and the paper vandu romba challenging ah vandu feel pandranga how did you prepare uh, i started watching a lot of videos for ethics uh, initially sir uh, uh, the uh, this one course in harvard university uh, that one which m- most of the talk was recommend mm. so i watched that one and then i started reading the lexicon book and all of that uh, so i got a hang of the subject i ha- i got a hang of the words and before i gave prelims i had written one test of ethics so at that time i knew what was the paper how it should be approached but after uh, main uh, prelim clearing prelims only i started my uh, full fledged preparation i refer to toppers copies i refer to examples from internet uh, not uh extensively but wherever i can find it i did try to find it and i used a lot of topper copies especially uh shruti sharma ma'am's copy which was filled with examples i could just quote four or five examples in my answers but she used to quote like eight nine examples so that was something i aspired to be and i inculcated a lot of it from her as well super yeah. and how important current affairs was important in your preparation are they pretty differentiate panninga prelims ke the mains ka then differentiate panningla how was it 
uh, so for current affairs i did read the newspapers every day uh, it was not uh, like i wanted to get something from the newspaper that is going to help me uh, whenever i found points which were helpful for me i did collect and keep it on a notion uh, pad or something like that but uh, newspapers were a way of in improving my language for me because in mains you we have to write an essay and we'll have to write a gs answer which essentially requires a good language especially in conclusions mm. where you have to finish it in a very short amount of time we need language a, a good command over language so i think that was uh, one thing that i got from newspapers other than that i refer to cu current affairs compilations monthly compilations uh, that was uh, i didn't differentiate per se for prelims and mains uh, i think the more i pra read the Uh, monthly current affairs it just got into my head uh, the facts and the figures and that's how i was able to apply it was never differentiated uh, this is for mains so or this is for prelims it was cogent all of it okay okay and how was your essay paper essay kan solli neenga thaniya practice panningala so so for essay i did uh, i did practice a lot of essays uh, from the starting of my preparation uh, and i read a few books uh, regarding essay preparation and all of that and i read topus copies again for essays that was helpful uh, and then i tried to uh, use a kind of process where i question and i answer that was one way of doing it i realized that a lot later like after giving four or five essay tests uh, that's when i realized it but i did try to uh, i did i didn't prepare for essay per se but i did try to uh, use the top copies use my own uh, essays i started i think i wrote around 20 essays before uh, mains and before prelims i think i wrote some four five essays so i think practice was a major part for me for essays presentation uh, mains examination ka ninga on the presentation ka ga ninga thaniya adachu work panningla or how did you focus on the answer presentation uh, so whenever i wrote i wrote in point format uh, so that was one thing that toppers focus on and i relied on toppers copies again and again uh, i used to read akshit jain sir's copies from 2018 batch uh, and then shruti sharma ma'am's copies again so i inculcated the triangles that she told or the points that 1.1 1.2 something like that that akshit sir wrote so i think that is uh, how i worked on my presentation presentation is very much important because uh, everybody has more or less the same knowledge the way we present it the way we give uh, a beautiful answer an answer that is catchy will gain us that half mark leverage or one mark leverage that can pull a mark so higher. that helped you to be the topper this year uh, i hope so. i i am not really sure so i'll have to check up on the marks <laughs> okay okay and finally in the process la first attempt la vandu paathina did you really believe that you will be able to crack this exam in the first attempt in the first attempt la crack panna mudiyum in the exam appdin solli believe panningla and ungalku self doubts irundha and the self doubts ah neenga epdi vandu overcome panninga i think self doubts are a part of this exam and part of everybody's life sir Uh, for me for me as a person for me overcoming that self doubt was very hard because i had a lot of fomo i did not go to delhi uh, my friends were preparing from delhi so i was very scared uh, being from home like i didn't have the circle of upsc as such so that was very scary and i had tons of doubt even before the day of the results i was not sure that i was going to get i really wanted to but i was not sure and and i think the competition the amount of uh people who write this exam itself is high and uh the amount of hard work that you put in is also high uh, so uh it is essentially a cutthroat competition based exam so it was hard fighting the self doubt but eventually i focused on the process like most people say uh, i was i stuck to my daily targets uh weekly goals and there were ups and downs lows definitely but i did try to uh, calm myself through the process uh, just sit there just do it uh, you won't do the 100% every day but you'll at least get into the habit of sitting there and doing it will i think it will it took me this far i hope it will take people also so far so sure yeah, super so in the process la how important was your family support uh, so my grandfather and my father were 
main motivators behind why I chose this path. They were, they were, uh, when I did not clear it, uh, it was a very big hit for all of us. Like everybody expected that I cleared it, but my parents and my grandparents stayed there. Like they told, if this is not possible, maybe try something. UPSC is another opportunity for you to reach somewhere high you want to. So that was always there. And my friends were also very helpful throughout the preparation. Uh, we definitely need friends here, especially when there's this big glow that is hitting us. It might be even marks on the mocks that we give. That time, I think friends play a major role in lifting us up and telling us it's okay. They, they sometimes point out the things that we have done this far. We might we might be extremely hard on us. Uh, but they'll point out, hard work Be it family or friends, they'll push you through that. I, so I think uh, family and friends stick through thin and thin, uh, thick and help us as well. Super, super. Okay, so the exam on the first attempt like clear upon a module of being the real example. Okay, so for future aspirants, what is your message? process is vandu oru periya mountain mar irukum namakku vandu enga aarambikkiradhu enga mudikkiradhu apdingiradhu vandu appa appa theriyama irukum romba unclear ah irukum sometimes ana nama vandu and the daily targets daily process and the daily uh, weekly goals adala set pandrappa namakku enga porom apdingiradhaachu clear ah theriyum so periya target irundhalo adha chinna chinna da break panni pandrappa We'll know where we're going, enna pandro, eppadi poodu, abdiin theriyo. Some adu way vandhu nama self-doubt vandhu kammi pandrathikku help pannu, kandipa. So, idha pannam na ve, yanakku idha vandhu romba helpful anchi, idha process mele focus panni, uh, targets divide panni pandrathu. Yelathikku helpful arukkun nanakkira. Uh, all the best, if I can do it in the first attempt, yara alai be pannam uduyo. Just, it's the right amount of work. Right amount of right path, right guidance that is very necessary. And I hope everybody gets through as well. Thank you.